we knew they were making history watched live on ITV by breaking through the wall between the British and French sides of the tunnel. They're through, they're through. They're through. There's the handshake we've all been waiting for, the fag and Monsieur Cosette. The French transport minister and assembled VIPs applauded as the two tunnelers exchanged national flags. Watched by a large crowd at the surface on video, they widened the hole until they could walk through. Big day for both of us. As the champagne flowed in probably the biggest ever underground party, the Entente was very cordial. I think that we're definitely moving closer and closer together. I think we've got to actually. And the tunnel itself, what kind of future do you think that faces now? Uh, quite honestly, I think it will be a financial success. More workers piled through the gap, the financial problems of the tunnel put aside for the day. I mean, this is just a great landmark. We've still got quite a way to go, but we've tunneled under the channel. It's been done. The promoters, the financiers, the engineers, we've done it. It brings people together, it improves understanding, and it's good for the economies of the whole of Europe. That's not bad for one day's achievement. The euphoria of the party atmosphere, celebrating a great event, was very infectious. Um, when, of course, all this is over tomorrow, there'll be another job to do and the tunnel digging will have to go on. But for the moment, this is one of the best parties I've been to. When the train carrying the two breakthrough tunnelers and the VIPs arrived at the British side, formalities were reimposed. Then the transport secretary had to have his passport stamped because he'd been in France, if only in the French part of the tunnel. Lawrence McGinty, ITN, in the Channel Tunnel.